Hello guys, Roberto here. We are back playing Europa Universalis uh, Imperium Universalis. So, <clears throat> last time we were playing as Bosporus, and um, yeah, I enjoyed it, but uh, as you can see, the game is quite easy. So, I did some changes, and I would like to discuss my changes before we start the campaign. So, the changes I did, I modified the boat, basically. Uh, let me check my notes. What did I do? Uh, one a second. So the first thing I did, I changed how aggressive expansion works. So basically, when you have a king, let's say one or two military or three, you have like a when you have one, you have two hundred percent aggressive expansion. Now you have one hundred twenty-five percent percent aggressive expansion. So, and when you have like two, you have 250, uh, sorry, you, when you have one, 225, two, 200, three, 175, etc, etc. So basically I gave 25% aggressive expansion based on the border castle spelling. Another thing I did, I changed completely the, the, the buildings, so the buildings now makes a bit more sense. I also increased the aggressiveness of AI by five times. So now, around after 100 years, you might see like a, a unified, let's say, Sicily or Carthage expanded in this area, or maybe you can see uh, one faction rise in the south, uh, Spain, or maybe one in the in the north. So I, I did some testing. Also, I increased the supply limit by 100 percent because the AI was dying from attrition. Another thing I did, I changed the states. So, if you remember, one of the states gives you plus one mana. I removed that because who is benefiting from that? Basically, the, the player. Uh, I also and some other modifiers, which I'm gonna show later. Also, I removed the minus the 25 minimum autonomy from the city states. So now the city states now are, are a bit more powerful. To increase the power of the city state, I I added in the capital 100% uh, modifiers, which I'm going to show in the game. So every single uh, city state, or, or or not, or I mean every single capital of the of the AI is going to have 100% extra bonus. Uh, I changed the mission of the Macedon, so now they will expand this area more likely. And I removed the, the things from uh, Italy or Illyria. Uh, I made it a bit easier for Grisha Kingdom to become uh, Thrace. And I also changed the stat modifiers. So if I go to hard, now you will see that we have aggressive expansion impact 10%, while the AI has minus 25%. Remember, I increased it 25, so now I remove 25. And I remove all uh, maximum promoted cultures by minus 3. And you will see why minus three. And I give the, the AI a bunch of uh, good uh, modifiers who well, allowed it to expand and maintain what uh, gains AI has. So we're gonna play on hard, and we're gonna play as the Hawarians who so gonna form Epirus, and the goal will be to expand uh, here in Greece and later maybe in Italy. So let's jump in. So to, to summarize the whole thing, uh, I changed AI aggressiveness, uh, static modifiers, I also changed how manpower works a bit, so you will not see uh, factions having uh, like 100,000 manpower early on, but still they will have like 50,000, 60,000, still will be a lot, but uh, not like before. So if I go to countries, military, armies, now you will see, uh, oh no, sorry, if I go to country, countries, maximum power, let's go to Egypt, maybe the not Egypt, maybe someone who is a tribe basically, because the tribes has insane manpower modifiers. Let's go to Thrace, to Odrician Kingdom. Right, now instead of having Reformed tribes plus 25 percent, 20 percent. They have like a five percent. 
so it's much lower. Uh, also the traders, okay, here we are a tribe, we don't have much to do. But you have like a, later the traders, the, the, the nobles, their modifiers were uh, limited because only the human was basically uh, taking it, most of them at least. So if I go to the capital, with my capital, you will see a buff, production efficient 100%, tax 100%. And that applies to everybody. So now the AI that uh, can, can have a bit more, you know. Also, I think I changed the a bit of the for, the the base manpower. So, so the base manpower now is five thousand instead of two thousand, and, and all these little changes basically helps the little nations, not the big ones. Because the big ones, if you if, if you have already, let's say, let's take someone who's big, right? Egypt. Okay, their maximum will be like a fifty. 60,000 so plus two is nothing for them, but for Sparta, let's say plus two is a lot And yeah, pretty much that's it. So let's go to the buildings really quickly So now you will see stuff like the, there's the marketplace now for example It is a bit of money and a bit of uh, Taxation, but it causes a bit of unrest uh, the temple gives a bit of money, but you lose uh, taxation. So, so you gain something and you lose something. So, government palace, it takes money, but uh, it gives you autonomy. So, it would say good thing. And then uh, the district, I made it like to be unique. So, it gives you good modifiers. You lose money, you have some unrest, but uh, you have a lot of good modifiers. Uh, the, the, the diplomacy, for example, it takes you money. Uh, the great depot. Uh, it takes some money, but uh, it gives you a bit of uh, produce modifiers. And the great shipyard, it takes you money, so you don't want to build a lot of great shipyards, but uh, it helps you with uh, ship building ships. Uh, the great uh, harbor, let's go here, the great harbor, it gives you money, but for a bit of unrest. Um, and you can have only one uh, harbor district, which gives a lot of good stuff. So you want to build only one, and you can build only one. As you can see, it says unique building. Uh, let's go to Great Estate. Uh, basically, that um, reduce unrest, uh, take some of, of money so for maintenance because it's like a, a, a irritated system that has been upgraded, but it gives a lot of productivity. Um, Metisus, yeah, you can have only one hospital. Uh, now garrisons they take some money, but uh, they provide they provide a bit of tax, but uh, you lose a bit of manpower and you have a bit of garrison growth. Uh, the trading camp you take it takes you money. Tax office for for a lot of unrest you take a lot of money, so you want to build that basically on uh, areas that you have uh, your culture. Uh, the mine it takes it gives you uh, unrest, but gives you money. Uh, what else? Um, the artisan quarter—that's the only one that gives uh, only uh, only positive uh, modifiers. Um, the fortress now it takes force limit, so you don't want to build too many fortresses. Also, it takes uh, manpower. Uh, same as a border uh, garrison, it takes manpower, but uh, and uh, some modifier, some uh, local manpower modifier. But uh, yeah, it gives you the border. I am. Um, same for roads, um, they give you, uh, what they give you, um, it takes some of your money for maintenance, but uh, it uh, gives you the friendly movement of speed and um, it, I reduce the hostile movement speed, so it was too crazy to have like a minus 20 for the AI, plus 20 for you, uh, too crazy. Uh, theaters, it takes a bit of money, but uh, they give you good stuff. Um, let's go to amphitheater. So amphitheater takes money, but it uh, gives production and local tax. And you can have only one Colosseum, because there was only one Colosseum. And now, so the, the schools, it takes money, but it gives you administrative, uh, diplomatic, and uh, military. The libraries now, they give you a bit of innovativeness. Innovation is super powerful. And it takes some of your money. And you can have only one great library. So it's a bit different, and you can see that the costs are a bit uh, adjust that. 
and also the the time to build most most of them are like uh, 12 months and um, yeah um, what else um, yeah I think that's it basically ah, you, you can have a bit more banners in your capital so we can start with saying all this as you can see we're still losing money although I give some early buffs to the small city-states and the tribes they still have the 25 minimum but are not the city-states so if I go to Athens nothing also from uh, the government I think I go here uh, how can I see that yeah here so from the government thing I remove I remove the plus um, extra cultures, which I'm going to discuss right now. Only the last, the empire uh, rank has plus one culture. And why I remove the culture, right? Let's go to culture. So, cultures, yes. Uh, we are minus one at the moment. But uh, when we take a tribe, you have, um, you have this. No. Where is it? Here. You have this plus two, so you have plus one. Quite Not soon, but quite soon. And the reason is, it, it was too easy, you know. You, you can just be, let's say, uh, I don't know, somewhere like a trust and you can all of a sudden just uh, embrace another culture and just take too much money and expand too easily. So, but the AI has, it has still plus two anyway. So the AI can do it, we cannot do it. So we have to work for that. Which makes a bit more sense, you know. Right. That's pretty much all the changes. So I give the AI some buffs, so the AI can adjust on that. And, uh, yeah, I think we can start. Let's check us... Uh, let's check the situation. So we will start with a random guy. This time is 353. Liberty design in subjects minus 5%. He's 19 years old, which is quite good. So if I say I want to declare war, you will see here it says 175%. Uh, for the guy that is uh, 6, that's 6, uh, border conquest 6, I, I make it from 50 to 75%, and the cost from, it says 200% cost for conquest, I made it 75%. So it's a bit harder to take uh, land with a 6 guy. Um, it's a bit more balanced anyway um so yeah we have 353 we have government organization right we are losing money all right great right we have someone we are level technology level two we have flood force limit general cost morale of arms right and we have Regiment cost, shock damage, national unrest, core creation, tolerance, naval, and year. So, a lot of um, about the army and some stability stuff, right? Not bad, no, not, not great, to be honest. Um, the first thing we want to do is uh, have an army of 10,000, right? Okay, 10,000. And what you are gonna give me? Military power and arm tradition. If, if I own all these, you will give me a uh, course to the rest. So you want me to conquer all that. And you give me... Alright, makes sense. And you want me to build a temple over there. You want me to build a fleet. Right? Then you tell me to conquest the north. And then you tell me unite. Then you give me right. You give me here to conquest these people. Then you're going to conquest this. Then you will give me for the Illyrians, all right. Then you will give me for for Syracuse, Italy, right. 
You're going to conquest Greece, Thessaly, Thebes, Macedon. So a bit more historical, I would say. Okay, you give a bit uh, right. Ionia and Asia. So you try to create an, a Pyrrhus campaign where you go like crazy, you know, this area, and then eventually it just gives you a bunch of claims here. Right, okay, whatever. Maybe I should change these uh, missions too to make it a bit more, you know, focus this area. Maybe I will do it uh, later. Anyway, doesn't matter. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, an ally. Can I have an ally? Let's check. Anyone? Yeah, okay, I can have some allies. Good. Um, so I want to conquest you. Right? So it will be nice to have people like you. You're an autonomous vassal of right him. So I don't think that's a great idea. Maybe someone else? Maybe I can attack you. You know, I need to attack um, some people for, with a tribal casus belly. Take the points. You don't want me, you don't want me, you don't want me, you do, you do, you do. Oh, you are good. Do you have a fort? You do, that's a really good to have a fort early on. You are alive with him. So you probably are not gonna help me anyway. And I don't think I can attack you easily because maybe I can. How strong are you? you okay, you are strong. Alive with Sparta. So I don't think early on I can attack you. So I'm gonna ally you. Do I need to behave that for the mission? Let me check a bit again. Oh, what? No, I don't need to have you. Which is fantastic. And okay, I'm gonna have you. Nice. I can set up some rivals. Who the hell are you? Lucania, that's in Italy. Corinthos and Molossia. Right. Let's go by opinion. I can rival you, maybe I can rival you. Okay, I'm gonna do you probably and you, but I will do that before I declare war. I can choose something here, and I'm gonna choose the aggressive expansion impact. We have one merchant which should go where? I guess here, and you can call like from here. I can dismiss this, dismiss, and abolish. And we have this mission, right? Let me do that. Coinage, establish high priest. Right. And we have this mission. If we own this, we can form a Pyrrhus and we can stop being a tribe, which is good and bad because I want to use the tribe Casus Belli, the tribal Casus Belli, to get some points first. So we are gonna do that a bit later. Right. We don't have any aggressive expansion impact, no builders. That one is gonna be good. Uh, we can get some of those. So, protection, I'm gonna take that one. Land maintenance, reform. Yeah, that's good early on, I guess. Uh, another thing, we're not gonna use uh, the, the, the the exploit to remove a, a to remove a privilege and then give it again and remove it and give it again and remove it, give it again to get to get the, the extra bonus. But and we're not gonna use anymore uh, the diet, except the first time that we start. That's the only time I'm gonna use it. Never again. And I'm gonna take land. Uh, let me think here. I'm gonna give you the tolerance. 
and all powers let me think here institution bread ability cost I don't think I want to give you that yeah I don't think I need to give you that one because the situation and pressure cost is going to be a bit high. And you will rest at 75. You will rest at 63. So everything is good here. So no, no, no exploits in this campaign. Uh, it's going to be um, even for us and the AI. So another thing I want to do. Is go economy and sell the ships. We need to sell all the ships. We don't, we don't really need them, and it's quite frankly expensive to have them early on. That's why I gave the AI, uh, I gave the AI uh, a reduction on uh, ships and regiments. We can have only oh, we can have four agri um, alliances, right? Let's have them. Gonna be my ally. Can ally well else? Maybe you Corinth. Um No, maybe I should. Maybe I should. And that's four. Perfect. Now we need to sell the ships. Go economy and start selling everything. One by one, if we sell all the ships, that will give me. Uh, right. No, no, no. 51, 80, right. 20. How much do you give? 20. 50. Uh, I'm going to give you this one. Twenty. And we're gonna start the pop growth mechanism, right? Let's sell. Don't want to. Don't want to. Let's see. Do you want any sips? 20. What about Rome? 20. Oh, they're gonna give me 80 for all of them. Interesting. And we're gonna start at level 6. Thirty, eighty, eighty. 80. Wait, 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 what? You really want ships? What the hell? You really want ships? How much are you gonna give me for one? 30. For two? 70. For four? 80. Okay, that's a good deal. Uh, let's see. Usually these people, they want ships around Italy. They are quite rich and they want ships. Early on. After that, they can build themselves. We need to sell very quickly all our steps so we can start a war. You don't want anything. Two or thirty. No, that's not a great deal. Four for fifty. What about you? You maybe you would like some steps? No. What about you? No. Oh, what about my ally? You're gonna give me 10. Okay, you, I can do that. I can do that. You can give me 10 
Ten for rich. Not, not a bad deal. Anyone who's willing to give me more. Fifty. Forty. If you are willing to give me fifty. I'm gonna take that. And then we have one last tip. Which I can give to whom? Let's see. Uh, you. Oh, I forgot to hire some units. Right, that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna have a bit slow beginning. Anyway, let's hire all the East Marines. We can have one extra guy. You have a ton of allies, but you do not. If I do this, they will like to join. Let's do that. Let's go here and say, you are my enemy. Let's say, Esportia, you are my enemy. You have to be a king. You have to be a king. Right. And now I think we can start declaring war with... Ah, right. If I say that they want this land... To do this. If I say they want all this land, they will not join. Well, who's gonna join? Salyotis? And you. What do you want? You want all that. What do you want? You want all that. What I want... If I say it like this, are you going... Join me, and because we play on hard, the AI is usually not giving you the land. So you can even sit together. You can be in charge, and somehow the AI takes the land for itself. I don't know how it's doing it, and then it, they refuse to give it to you. So it's uh, a bit more aggressive. You can do this before he has more uh, friends. So if I go to war enemies, let's uh, use the speed by a lot, country, right, in your treasury you have 30 ducats, which is not much, every time you annex someone you take the treasury, which is fantastic. Okay, we have the mountains. Good. What I can do, I can send an embargo to you. For some PP. And I want to send an embargo to you as well. I have two uh, guys, so maybe I can send one to what? Influence, let's carry some favors with you, I guess. Our manpower is looking good, but not crazy as it should be in this time of period, right? And also, I, to the tribes, I give a bit more because I took the manpower, I give them a bit of land force limit, so now it's a bit more fair. Right, what can you do? Maneuver. Talk. Right. And I think I need six here. So I cannot sit you down right now. I have to wait for these two guys. I can loot a bit. Uh, economy. Issue the embargo. And I want to send an insult to you. I'll do that. Our mission is to have 50 prestige. Good luck with that. I didn't catch him. Anyway. Let's take everybody before we loot one more time. Okay, the AI is over there. He's gonna lose the way it goes.
I cannot go over there, which is unfortunate. We are losing money. That's okay. We have a bit of uh, inflation. That's fine. You look good, right? And what I can do first. I do some spy network to speed that. We are gaining 164. Alright, another thing I did for the big factions. I increased the, uh, the modifiers for... Uh, the, to limit it, the... how they call it? Uh, the, the land force limit and uh, the, man, the manpower. Uh, reserves so it's a bit more restrict for those guys to, to expand otherwise they will go crazy and that will affect us later right it's not that, that uh, it's gonna be any good for us it's gonna affect us later because usually what happens is like uh, you see uh, Persia and they just team roll everything uh, based on the change I did of the aggressive expansion thing so now it's a bit more balanced. Right, I can take the cap. I don't need you with your extra attrition. He's following me with 2000. Maybe I can persuade you to come over here. No, you cannot. I have a 353 guy. We are losing a bit of legitimacy, that's fine. Can I gain that? We need a ton of prestige for the aggressive pension impact. He's giving us um, with a cult, yearly prestige and aggressive and expansion. Good. I have a bit of tolerance. Great. So gonna finish this and when he finishes that he's gonna lose you can speed up this you aren't doing anything else brawl great man someone loot great right now the AI is gonna lose here the hell why you left? Uh, can I have some dynastic? Great, now I have a queen. Um, who else? No, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I think I can continue with you. It's gonna be a reliable ally. Don't like this, you don't like that. Uh, influence. If I can use you, I just need you once. It's war, and then you can just go away. I don't care. We're making a bit of money here. Okay, he's out. We still are pretty much equal. So maybe I need one more. Maybe I don't. What's your generals? One, one, two, zero, five, one, zero, zero, one. So we have a bit of advantage over here. Right, now we have the city. Excellent. You can come and join me. He's living, which is fantastic. Now we can fight 6,000. Too late for him to join, and we have a, a shock. 
damage uh, modifier. Do you, oh, he lost. Right, he lost. That's very unfortunate. Moral of failure is... <coughs> um, I have to do it. It's like a one ducket. I don't want to lose five prestige. Okay, let's uh, start to occupy things. And take the cam unit, send it over there. You're kidding me. Uh, right. I can gain some legitimacy for two decades. Cavalry General Armus Smith. So I do want to lose. I don't want to gain any government organization, to be honest, because the state maintenance is killing you. We have a lot of uh, slaves, which give us plus 10%. An organized religion, rural is good, which gives crew relation, right. And you're gonna give me someone who is 50% cheaper. I think I will go... Don't want the drill, don't want the cow. I do want that. You will give me 10 legitimacy. Right, well, we have 99, so... Uh, I can take you, you're half the price. You think you can go over there so we can stop that? Are you still my ally? Yes, plus extra prestige. Now he's not my oh. Alright, we can ask for tribute. They didn't give us anything. I don't know exactly how this mechanism works. I I've read it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to have enough soldiers. But sometimes you can take it with two, sometimes you can take well, sometimes you cannot take anything with 16 units. I don't know, it's crazy. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. What I can do here. I can force you to return this to. I want to do that. So he will like me again at some point. Right, he will like me again at some point. Except if I can have an alliance with you. And I can, actually, I can. Do you hate him? No. So what I can do, I can return this too. I can ask for your money. Maybe I can ask you to stop being alive with him. What? Why is this is not... Oh, we have that one. No general, I don't want you to die over there. Um, we can definitely give you that one and two of those. Let's try to loot the whole area now. I can stop doing that. I can stop doing that. I can improve relationship, it doesn't matter with you. Uh, it doesn't matter with you, really. Who hates me? Right. Maybe I can improve them. Does it matter with you? Maybe with you a bit. And maybe... 
with you as well. And I can try to be an ally later after the war. We are looting here, we're taking the money. Oh, there's a trade center also. That's good. Go over there. We can speed up. Now we have call for peace. We need to peace out sooner or uh, later. I want to give that back so he won't. Well, doesn't like me anyway. Or should I make him a vassal? That's another way of doing it, right? That's 16 aggressive expansion. That's a lot. That's a lot. And that's a lot. <laughs> right, he will probably be unrealistically difficult to maintain. Let's see. That will give another 14. So I can guess that will be another 14. So I will have 14 and 50, 30. So that will be almost a coalition if I do that. That will be almost a coalition if I do this. I have to be a bit careful here. But he will be a great vassal, I guess. Because he will be in my borders and he will have a fort. So maybe I should take him as my vassal. Ah, 16. Ah, because I don't give back the... Yeah, right. Maybe I should do this. Yeah, maybe I should do this. You will be my vast. I can remove you. I don't need you anymore. So he will follow me to the wars and I will have a fort over here. Or maybe that's not ideal. I need the prestige and I don't want to take... I don't know, should I take him or, or not? Um, I think long term it will be better to take him. Right, long term will be better to take it, right? So, it'll be my vassal. No rivalry. Give me, give me your money. How much I'm gonna take? 20, not bad. So, I'm gonna do this. Gonna be my. I, I fear he will be. Uh, not loyal, you know. He will have enough power not to be loyal, I think. Yeah, I think he will be not. Not he will be loyal. And I don't want to uh, take any risk here. It's early on in the campaign, so Orestia, Rubia, give your money first. Maybe one, and we can take that one as well. He has a lot of allies. So we are gonna gain some money and how much prestige? Five prestige. Which will gonna be good because we will reduce the aggressive expansion with him. You can all go back. And you're gonna give me everything. You will see that I'm not gonna take money because if I take money, I will share the money with my ally, but if I don't do that, all the money will go directly to me. Watch. And uh, all the money came to me. That's why we don't do this. I do have a fort. Right culture, right religion. This is fantastic. We remove one of our rivals. Now we have another rival. Uh, which gonna be probably you. 
How many allies do you have? Right, can I have you, Crania? If I go by country and I go to K. No. Ah, uh, okay, right here. Crania. No, I cannot, right? Crania, right? Cra um, wait. Crania is the place. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Uh, right. Go to A. Nope, I can still not do that. That's fine. We can go by opinion then. And then we can say... Probably one of you guys. Can I have you? Let's see. Be honest. Let's go to B. Like this. Uh, right, no. What about you, Oricos? I want someone who is my neighbor so I can use the tribal as his belly and I have access to him so I can re kill him quite easily. So, no, I cannot. So, the next thing I can do is buy pinion. And I will just put you for now. Probably he will not be any valid. Uh, Arrival very soon. I can go economy. I can insure the cargo. The next thing I want to do is that one. But as you can see, it's not an easy task. Also, I need to attack you, which I can do. And I think that will be the next war. Yep, that will... Oh, wait. Haha. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can remove all your allies. Perfect. So that will be the next war. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next part. Where we are going to attack him. And uh, see how it goes. Thank you for watching.